Good morning. My happy hour back. Here's the plan. Well, let's start with the fact that it's almost not the morning anymore. We have just had a very long discussion with the builder about all things design, swimming pool, roof access, all sorts of things. Plan for the day. Finish the tiling in the pool, finish off some other bits. They really don't have long to go. There is gonna be one small change to the rules of the swimming pool competition. Trying to keep within the spirit of that competition because there is gonna be a delay to one part. Beyond that, ceilings, maybe skim coat, not sure. Perimeter wall. What could possibly go wrong? I think we have to start here, out the pool, tiles, done. Uh, I'm sure there's still some grouting to do and there is some cleaning to do and there's a few other bits and pieces to do but right now they are focused over here where we already have the jets in the side wall for the hot tub type effect they're now putting more in on the bench which could make for an interesting experience depending on where you sit but that's what they're doing back over here they really don't have a lot to do the builder has told me his estimate of when they're going to finish and i'm not going to tell you but it's not long but just here is where i've got to make a little change in the competition I had said, I'm pretty sure I had said, it included the completion of the handrails across the bridges. Well, based on the conversation with the builder this morning, I've now got to exclude those handrails because his plan now is to not fabricate those until they fabricate, take another busy pill, the balcony rail up there. And that might still be some time away. So, with immediate effect, and to try to maintain the integrity of what the competition is about, which was effectively an ability to get in there and swim, I'm excluding it. Now, where does that leave us? We've had a conversation this morning with the builder that we do want all of this area in between the house and the pool to have a hard surface uh, and I think initially that will start with just a concrete slab uh, and then that'll work its way around part of the outside all the way around here including a little bit extra probably just here where we might somewhere here we might put um, a platform for some more seats with an umbrella or something that slab is not again part of the competition so the bottom line is based on what the builder has said i think the competition is going to be over really quite soon everything else the lights there's a few lights to add there's a few more bits and pieces but the pump the filters everything else is all connected we're pretty close to being able to put this water in. I'm not gonna put the water in until that slab is done. But again, that doesn't count. This pool has to be ready to swim in, not necessarily people swimming in it with water. Just the ability that if we chose to, we could fill it up. We're choosing not to, that doesn't change the competition. That's a very long bit. Apologies for that, but that's where we are. Not far away. One minor thing we talked about this morning with the builder is, I think I may have mentioned before, at the bottom of this window, we effectively want a ledge on the outside. So we could put some bar stools here and kind of have a bar, really. So they're gonna put a concrete ledge initially, and then we'll put a wood finish on top of that. And yes, I know that means termites. Ah, oh, we're living dangerously. We're back inside the spa for the first time in a little while where we have our skin coater extraordinaire and it turns out i've been getting his name wrong on every single video it's not ronel it's renee 
And over here we have our plumber, who is Ronel. So my huge apologies to Rene, but more work going on here, getting this hot tub stroke jacuzzi a little bit closer to completion. Here we go again on ceilings. We're going with a little help by Jeff now, working on this ceiling along the downstairs hallway. So they're putting in these wooden areas in which light fixtures will be located almost next to them in the dining room we've got Oliver and I think it's Rico under there yes it is coming close to finishing off the frame just here back in the home theater we have a face from the past Joel is back welcome back Joel helping out our electrician William who isn't around at the moment but I think Joel's been brought back from one of the other builders' sites to help out while we're a couple of people short for that project that I will tell you about soon. Once again, just looking down from the balcony at the back of the house on the corner at what is getting close to being a finished smooth pool. And I think it does look, well, you know, I have to say it's our pool. I think it looks great. A few more bits and pieces still to do, but really it isn't a lot. This will be what somebody will be able to wake up and come and sit and look at in the morning. And hopefully, before that, somebody can go and swim in it. I'm standing on the master bedroom balcony. And I'm seeking opinion here. We have always said this mango tree has to go because it blocks the view of Mount Ariat over there to, to the right a little bit. I'm wondering now, should we leave it? We can still see a fair part of the mountain. It's gonna give shade, a little bit of noise protection maybe from the road that's not far in front of it. What do you guys think? sitting here in the morning having a cup of coffee or sitting here in the evening having a something stronger with tree or without tree let me know what you think i can't make my mind up upstairs there are a grand total of one person working that's the noise you can hear drilling out more channels in bathroom walls at the moment. That's it. Everyone else is downstairs inside our room. Four o'clock and because it's a Saturday, that's the end of the day. The crew is <laughs> happy crew today. Payday, settling up day uh, for any advances or anything that they owe for salary food sir. and drink during the week. <laughs> and Renee's happy salary sir, he says. I'm still trying to get him not to say sir. He, most of the time he remembers. Let's have a look inside. In the living room, the scaffolding remains, and they've been working again on this ceiling, getting closer and closer to being a finished frame. Almost next to it, in the dining room. My word, this looks complicated. But I imagine, again, getting close to being finished. In the kitchen, no changes to the kitchen itself but all day today this has been there and for a few days previously this has been their woodwork shop in the jacuzzi we have plumbing in place for taps faucets if you prefer today is a very short video because of the ultra late start this morning because of the long meeting with the builder I thought we wouldn't do three tours around today, just the two. And of course, we've got to finish here. A lot of the focus this afternoon was on the steps, where they've put in the narrow sections of tiles to help to highlight where the edge of each step, each step is as you're walking down, which was a great suggestion earlier on, much earlier on in the build. 
so we're very grateful for that. There was also a lot of grouting was done uh, in here and elsewhere. Not finished yet. Still a few steps to be completed, but it really is, I know I keep saying it, I can't help but keep saying it, it's getting very close to being finished. Days, not weeks, I can tell you that much. And so, the end of day 201, the end of the work week. Next week, this is gonna get done. We'll see you then.